Oh. Well, I did it. I bred the perfect star you. <laughs> well, I star as I can't. I can't. All right, I got to do that with a Litwick and like two other Pokemon. But I really don't feel like retraining a bunch of Pokemon all the way up to like level 65, 70, and 80 ish. I mean, I really, I mean, I have a great Dermanitan anyways, and I really don't want to go back and try giving him a nature that has no stat changes, because that's what I did. I bred a Staryu, and then I bred it into a, um, a quirky natured, and then I gave it an Everstone, and I stuck it in there, and I got what I needed, a, a quirky natured Staryu with mischievous as the little phrase, which means, like, I have a notebook now. It's filled up with all the natures and all the phrases and what the IVs represent. And it represented that its IV most likely is in its special attack, which means mischievous. And there's a couple other phrases too. And I was like, cool, so why not? I'll stick an Everstone in there and I gave it to my Ditto, which does nothing. And then I just bred. I have a box and a half, almost a box and a half full of Star Use now. And a lot of them are actually okay if people want a certain type. I got ones that have speed, I got ones that have HP, I got ones that have a mod special defense and stuff, but then I took it to another guy, and apparently this one kid bred me a perfect Zoroark, and if this is, if you guys play Pokemon, you know what I'm talking about, and he bred me a Zoroark, and the Zoroark is, well, perfect, and I gave it to that guy with the blue cool hair in the battle subway station, he said, hey, guess what, your dude's perfect, and I'm like, that's awesome, because it said stats, or it's overall potentials above average or something like that, but it's perfect, has no stat changes whatsoever, <laughs> I was talking and all the words just left my mouth in rapid succession and you couldn't even hear it. You might want to rewind that and slow it down a little bit and then go back and play it again just to see what I said because I said some a lot of important things there. But basically it means that it has no stat changes goes with the quirky nature. Quirky hardy and there's a couple other ones that have no stat changes. But those are the best ones because they don't, they don't take heavy hits in anything. Although I am trying to breed a timid nature litwick so it's really really fast. And then I'm gonna try giving it like a mischievous nature so its IV lies in its special attack. So then it's really super strong. Maybe I might put it a little bit in defense just to make up for it. But that's gonna take forever to breed too. But all I know is that Ditto has been massively abused since uh, my other gen, fourth gen, since I put it in there. Huh. Wow. I just talked like two minutes and 30 seconds about Pokemon. Can you believe that? I can. Because that's just who I am. I'm a big nerd. I got a lot of to-do lists and stuff to do today. I got to get to doing on that. I got to go to the mail lot box area and I got to throw myself some uh, mailing situation. That's not even my mail. It's my mom's mail. So I got to go drop it off at the mailbox today. And then I got to go drive up and get some gas because gas prices are finally going. I figured since the end of the world happened, you know, two days ago, they figured they might as well go ahead and just be like, hey, I'll give you guys some uh, awesome, you know, give you some gas price break, I guess, since we're happy. Uh, we're all still here. Hope you're still here. That's great. Did you hear that? My pocket just had a victory sound. It just made the victory sound from Final Fantasy. My, there was a battle in my pocket, and th it just happened, and no one even noticed it. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. Uh, anyways, that siding needs to get fixed. Um, I'm just walking around back and forth on my backyard patio because, well, that's got to get cleaned up. And guess who's going to have to do that? This guy right here. But what else do I have to do today? Ah, oh, I have to go to the library. No, I'm sorry. I puked a little bit everywhere. That's okay. I just, you know, I need to vomit all my food back up because I'm a fat, I'm a fat man. You know, gotta maintain this composure. So I had to vomit when I said library. No! So we're good. But I have to go to the library. No! And I have to go print some stuff out because I have to return my chemistry book because I rented it from Chegg. Chegg.com. Check it out. It's great. Seriously, I just rented a book there that's originally priced. What time is it? Four minutes. I originally purchased the book. That was originally a hundred and almost two hundred dollars at my school. Rented it for fifty six bucks. Come on, people! You better go back and put that up there because that's really sweet. So I'm gonna wind up going to do that. Then afterwards, I'm gonna go up and probably go up to GameStop and get Crisis Two because I have enough cash on my my card to do so. Because I traded in a bunch of games a while ago and I still have money left over from that seventy some dollars worth of stuff that I had. So I might go ahead and do that. I got back into playing Dragon Age 2 and I started getting a little addicted to that. So now I'm getting back into summer mode. I don't have to work a lot this week. So I'm basically going to be playing video games and try to bring myself perfect Litwick. I'm seeing my girlfriend tomorrow finally again. Which I haven't seen her since the last time I saw her on like Saturday or something. We're planning out this epic day. It's going to be great. It's going to be an epic date with her. It's awesome. I'm just a romantic kind of guy. We're going to go do stuff. But I can't tell you. Not until it happens because I don't want you guys stealing that and be like, Oh yeah, I totally thought of that. 
and but if you do, buy a shirt for me or something, because then you can say like, oh yeah, wear it, wear it on your date, and be like, Steve Martinable, he um uh, told me this is, uh, but what does it say again? It says something about being working 24/7 week because that's what I am I'm working all day it's shirt basically represents me 24 7 being awesome 24 7 that's what I gotta do even when I'm sleeping the eight hours worth of sleeping is me being awesome but anyways if you want me to post a video about how to breed a perfect Pokemon let me know because I will do so I do it for all of you people and uh, also I want you guys to uh, go ahead and subscribe and all my friends need to subscribe to me I have like 47 friends and like 31 like subscribers if all those people who are my friends so subscribe to me I love you guys all equally no matter what you are but friends are great but subscribers last forever so you guys should go ahead and just watch and go ahead and subscribe to me every one of you friendship people and check me out and uh, yeah, check this out mmm imagine seeing this mmm 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 imagine seeing that all day every day every day daily as I daily vlog every day daily 24 7 not 24 7 more like Five minutes out of six minutes out of my six minutes is the longest vlog I've done in forever. I'm gonna go because I don't want this to run over. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and uh, like me and find me on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. Your first time watcher, go back and watch. Click this link up here. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. That's the previous links to all my other vlogs. So go ahead and watch it. All right, I love you. I'm gonna get to doing. I'm about to do this. So subscribe. I got a freaking tune. I haven't sung in forever. I love you. Cut off.